Hello, and welcome back to Story Time with Eric Zimmer. Our next Dr. Seuss classic is, uh, aha, the most famous one of them all. Yes. From 1957, The Cat in the Hat. Do I even need to say anything about this story other than the fact that it's timeless? and was made into a faithful and hilarious 1973 uh, or 1972 uh, animated short. Well, I'll tell you one thing. Don't watch the 2003 movie. It's not good. <laughs> but we're not watching that. We're reading the original story, the real classic. And, according to uh, the foreword, he was able to write the book out of only, uh, they say he ha only had 400 words he could use. Wow. Well, they said he could only use 225 words of the 400 they sent him. How much did he use? 223 different words. Ha! <coughs> so you ready? All right, let's begin. Read along if you know the words. <laughs> the sun did not shine. It was too wet to play. So we sat in the house on that cold, cold, wet day. I sat there with Sally. We sat there, we too. And I said, how I wish that we had something to do. Too wet to go out, and too cold to play ball. So we sat in the sun. We did nothing at all. Even the fish is asleep. <laughs> so all we could do was to sit, 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 sit. And we did not like it. Not one little bit. Hmm. And then something went bump! How that bump made us jump. Even the fish jumped. We looked, and we saw him step in on the mat. We looked and we saw him, the cat in the hat, and he said to us, Why do you sit there like that? I know it is wet and the sun is not sunny, but we can have lots of good fun that is funny. Hmm. I know some good games we could play, said the cat. I know some new tricks, said the cat in the hat. A lot of good tricks. I will show them to you. Your mother will not mind at all if I do. What about their father? <laughs> then Sally and I did not know what to say. Our mother was out of the house for the day. And I assumed the father was at work. <laughs> but our fish said, No, no, make the cat go away. Tell that cat in the head you do not want to play. He should not be here. He should not be about. He should not be here when your mother is out. Hmm. Now, now, have no fear. Have no fear, said the cat. My tricks are not bad, said the cat in the hat. Why, we can have lots of good fun, if you wish, with a game that I call Up, Up, Up with a Fish. Put me down, said the fish. This is not fun. This is no fun at all. Put me down, said the fish. I do not wish to fall. Have no fear, said the cat. I will not let you fall. I will hold you up high as I stand on a ball with a book in one hand and a cup in on my hat. But that is not all I can do, said the cat. Huh. What else could he do? <laughs> look at me, look at me now, said the cat. With a cup and a cake on the top of my hat. I can hold up two books, I can hold up the fish, and a little toy ship, and some milk on a dish. And look, I can hop up and down on the ball, but that is not all. Oh no, that is not all. Look at me, look at me, look at me now. It is fun to have fun, but you have to know how. I can hold up the cup and the milk and the cake. I can hold up these books and the fish on a rake. I can hold the toy ship and a little toy man. And look with my tail, I can hold a red fan. I can fan with the fan as I hop on the ball, but that is not all. Oh no, that is not all. Uh-oh. That is what the cat said. And he fell on his head. And he came, he came down with a bump from up there on the ball. And Sally and I... We saw all the things fall. Uh-oh.
that's not good. And our fish came down too. He fell into a pot. A tea kettle, to be exact. He said, Do I like this? Oh, no, I do not. That is, n This is not a good game, said our fish as he lit. I No, I do not like it. Not one little bit. Now look what you did, said the fish to the cat. Now look at this house. Look at this. Look at that. You sank our toy ship, sank it deep in the cake. You shook up our house, and you bent our new rake. You should not be here when our mother is not. You should... You get out of this house, said the fish in the pot. <laughs> but I like to be here. Oh, I like it a lot, said the cat in the hat to the fish in the pot. I will not go away. I do not wish to go. And so, said the cat, so, 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 I will show you another good game that I know. Hmm. And then he ran out. And then, fast as a fox, the cat in the hat came back with a box. A big red wood box. It was shut with a hook. Now look at this trick, said the cat. Take a look. Let's have a look. Aha! Then he got up on top with the tip of his hat. I shall call this game fun in a box, said the cat. In this box are two things I will... Ings. I will show to you now. You will like these two things, said the cat with a bow. I will pick up the hook. You will see something new. Two things, and I call them thing one and thing two. These things will not bite you. They want to have fun. Then out of the box came thing two and thing one, and they ran to us fast. They said, how do you do? Would you like to shake hands with thing one and thing two? At least they have manners. And Sally and I did not know what to do, so we had to shake hands with thing one and thing two. We shook their two hands, but our fish said, No, no, these things should not be in the house. Make them go. They should not be here when your mother is not. Put them out, put them out, said the fish in the pot. What a stick in the mud. <clears throat> Have no fear, little fish, said the cat in the hat. These things are good things, and he gave them a peck. They are tame, oh, so tame. They will come here to play. They have come here to play. They will give you some fun on this wet, wet, wet day. Ah, oh, he ruined their hairstyle. Huh. Now here is a game that they like, said the cat. They like to fly kites, said the cat in the hat. No, not in the house, said the fish in the pot. They should not fly kites in a the house. They should not. Oh, the things they will bump. Oh, the things they will hit. Oh, the... I do not like it. Not one little bit. And Sally and I saw them run down the hall. We saw those two things bump their kites on the walls. Bump, thump, thump, bump. Down the wall, in the hall. Uh-oh, I hope they didn't break anything valuable. That would not be good. Then thing two and thing one, they ran up and down on the string of one kite that we saw Mother's new gown. Her gown with the dots that are pink, white, and red. Then we saw one kite bump on the head of her bed. Then those things ran about with big bumps, jumps, and kicks, and with hops and big thumps and all kinds of bad tricks. And I said, I do not like the way that they play. If Mother could see this, so what would she say? Well, personally, I don't want to think about it. Then our fish said, look, look. And our fish shook with fear. Your mother is on her way home. Do you hear? Oh, what will she do to us? What will she say? Oh, will she not like it to find us this way? So do something fast, said the fish. Do you hear? I saw her, your mother. Your mother is near. So as fast as you can, think of something to do. You will have to get rid of thing one and thing two. <laughs> oh boy. So as fast as I could, I went after my net. And I said, with my net, I can get them, I bet. I bet with my net, I can get those things yet. Then I let down my net. I ca it came down with a plop, I, and I had them at last. Those two things had to stop. 
Then I said to the cat, No, you do as I say. You pack up those things and you take them away. Oh dear, said the cat. You did not like our game. Oh dear, what a shame, what a shame, what a shame. Hmm. Then he shut up the things in the box with the hook. And the cat went away with a sad kind of look. That is good, said the fish. He has gone away. Yes, but your mother will come. She will find this big mess. And so deep and so... Th and this mess is so big and so deep and so tall. We cannot pick it up. There is no way at all. Uh, well, yes you can. But it will take a while. Which is why... Ahem. And then, who is back in the house? Why, the cat. Have no fear of this mess, said the cat in the hat. I always pick up all my playthings, and so I will show you another good trick that I know. Well, at least he cleans up his mess after having fun. Of course, that's something everybody should do. And, and of course, we can see the fish finally smiling. <clears throat> Then we saw him pick up all the things that were down. He picked up the cake and the rake and the gown, and the milk and the strings and the bush and the di and the books and the dish, and the fan and the cup and the ship and the fish. And he put them away, and he said, then he said, that is that. And then he was gone with the tip of his hat. See you next time. <laughs> then our mother came in, and she said to us two, did you have any fun? Tell me, what did you do? And Sally and I did not know what to say. Should we tell her the things that went on there that day? Uh, she probably wouldn't believe them anyway. <clears throat> should we tell her about it? Now what should we do? Well, what would you do if your mother asked you? Hmm. I don't know what I'd do. But, uh, what about you? What would you do if your mother asked you? What a great story. Arguably Dr. Seuss's best. The end. I'll see you next time on Storytime with Eric Zimmer.